The purpose of a Lazy 8 is to develop the pilot's feel for varying control forces and the ability to plan and remain oriented while maneuvering the airplane with positive, accurate control. The maneuver consists of two 180-degree turns in opposite directions while making a climb and a descent in a symmetrical pattern during each of the turns. Before beginning the maneuver, select an entry altitude that will allow for recovery to be completed no lower than the minimum recovery altitude of 1500 feet AGL for dual flights and 2000 AGL for solo flights. Of course, the pilot should sufficiently clear the area of traffic by making two 90 degree clearing turns, always remembering to clear the area above and behind the aircraft as well. Also, make applicable practice area radio calls. For Lazy 8s, we will use the B-GUMP acronym for configuring the aircraft. Boost pump will be off, gas will be to the fullest tank, undercarriage will be up, mixture will be rich, and the propeller should be set to 2400 RPM. Finally, adjust airspeed to maintain trimmed and stabilized at 110 knots. When executing a Lazy 8, it is important to understand that this maneuver is focused on developing the pilot's smoothness and accuracy while controlling the aircraft through climbing and descending turns. The maneuver itself has no set values that need to be met except that the end of each turn should find the pilot back at the original altitude and airspeed where the turn began. The pilot will most likely notice that, when practiced from time to time, Control inputs may change based on certain variables such as aircraft weight, density altitude, airspeed, and configuration. It is important to understand that, during the entire maneuver, power remains constant. Energy is transferred solely through altitude and airspeed changes. Prior to roll-in, establish a line of visual reference outside of the aircraft preferably with a road or other prominent landmark. The pilot should also pick a 45 degree reference in the direction of the planned turn and a 135 degree reference behind the aircraft also in the direction of turn. Some landmark in the distance will work great for this. Maybe a clump of trees or a small town. Just make the reference points obvious enough to help define different strategic points throughout the maneuver. Begin the first half of the Lazy 8 by entering a coordinated climbing turn. The pilot should begin a very slow and lazy roll along with a very slow and smooth increase in pitch. By the time the aircraft reaches the pre-selected 45 degree reference point, the nose should have reached a maximum pitch up attitude at the slowest airspeed, but the bank should only be at about 15 degrees. Past this point, bank will continue to increase but pitch will begin a smooth decrease. The next strategic point is the aircraft's 90 degree point. At this second strategic point, the pilot should reach a maximum bank angle of 30 degrees and the nose should slice down through a level reference with the horizon. Past this point, the second half of the turn will begin as the pilot simply reverses the control inputs that occurred during the first half of the turn. The pilot should smoothly continue to decrease pitch while beginning a rollout simultaneously. The third strategic point during the turn will be the pre-selected 135 degree reference. At this point, pitch should be at its lowest and bank should once again be at an intermediate 15 degrees. Past the 135 degree point, the nose should be smoothly brought to level as the bank is rolled out constantly to reach the end of the 180 degree turn. As the first turn is completed, the aircraft should have reached the original altitude and airspeed that was established at the beginning of the turn and should be exactly 180 degrees from the original roll-in heading. This completes the first half of the Lazy 8 maneuver. The second half of the turn should be symmetric to the first and performed in the opposite direction to ensure completion of the entire figure eight. The pilot should understand that this maneuver can be performed using any bank angle or configuration as long as the looping turns are smooth and symmetrical. UND standardizes this maneuver to use a maximum of 30 degrees of bank. 
Due to this relatively moderate bank angle, emphasis should be made on the fact that the turns will require very mild control inputs as the entire maneuver itself will be very lazy and much less aggressive than other commercial maneuvers. Success in Lazy 8s is achieved through the pilot's ability to control the aircraft smoothly and consistently to each strategic point described previously. The commercial PTS requires that the pilot maintains coordinated flight throughout the maneuver and achieves approximately 30 degrees of bank at the steepest point and maintains a constant change of pitch and roll throughout all turns. At the 180 degree point, altitude should be plus or minus 100 feet from the entry altitude, airspeed plus or minus 10 knots from entry airspeed, and heading plus or minus 10 degrees of the predetermined 180 degree rollout heading. For further information on Lazy 8s, reference the Airplane Flying Handbook Chapter 9 and the UND Aero Standardization Manual Chapter 3. Have fun and fly safe.